welcome back everybody in this video of the tech startup um, we will be finishing up the landing page and deploying it so that users will, could start applying and signing up for the, the pre sign up for the application but uh, don't get mad i did work on some of the code it wasn't much though so i'm just gonna i'll show you some actually so all i did right was here i'm just gonna move myself up here make myself a little bit smaller so you don't see my ugly face and all i did right was i oh my god so went to superbase i uh, made an account and i made the database so here's everything so it's in the email list and as you can see right here it's really simple so i have every time emails are sent via the landing page which i could show you in a bit um, it's stored here and I was just testing out. So um, as you can see, I am a kid. I tested out Kaka three times. Um, I should not have kids, man. Why am I so childish? Um, anyways, I forgot that I did that. That's hilarious. Okay, anyways, so all I did was this very, very basic landing page right here. So if I go to CD landing, um, all I did was very simple landing page like I got a lot of help from chat GPT but all you do is say like Nizar is the best right because I am the best I'm not the best I suck and then you send it and then it is sent uh, to the database and right here it's Nizar is the best so that's what's really cool about Superbase it was really easy to implement like really easy so check this out right so all i did was make two states so one for the submitted and one for the email and then i just got the the uh the email database which is this so the form is the email and then all i did was put it here and it was saved so really 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 simple but for now i want to design the database at least a little bit because uh, sorry i want to design uh the uh, the landing page a bit because it does not look that good i mean it doesn't look too bad but i do want to change the logo i want to change the the way this looks like just the transition is not that nice and i think i think that will be it all right so let's just start with the logo because i i don't like that it's so on canva I'm just gonna go over here, just where I do all my thumbnails and stuff. Okay, cool. This will be the logo for now. I know it's not ideal, but I don't wanna waste too much time on the logo. It's stupid. Like, why would I, you know, we need to work on like the functionalities and stuff like that. But for now, I think the logo looks good and we can just head straight into the, uh, the input button and the fun stuff like that, all right? So, I don't like how when we focus, it's like doing that. Like why, why is there such a focus? Let's see. Um, if we go to input, maybe. Cause I'm using, I'm using Shad CN. No, no, yeah, Shad CN. So that might be the reason. All oh, right, okay, okay, right here. Rounded, medium. There we go. I think if we just, I don't know, should I just do it? Fuck it. Damn, dude. Wait. But why is the border like that? Let's ask our good old pal, ChatGPT. I just want to fix that before anything, but we're almost done with it anyways. We're, it's just design and preference at this point. There we go. That's what I was missing. I felt like I was doing something. That should work now. Awesome. Okay, cool. Um, I think I'll do this here too. Click the focus. Outline on. So now when we click, nothing happens. What if I just remove the special button? Okay, okay. So it was the special button. I'm just gonna make this, um, I'm just gonna have like a basic border, okay? So border like black border. I think I, I will not able to do anything with the border because here, oh my God, okay, okay. Border, border, uh, black. There we go. <laughs> All right, so now it'll be fine. 
but doesn't look too bad right now this i think this is ideal what else do we need right like at this point do we want to be extra about it do we need anything in specific i mean how nice does it okay it works fine like i don't mind this but maybe the message after also i don't want it to auto complete like that so let me go to pages complete i think it's off right is it none damn dude what is it it is off right Oh, this is just the, what is it? The, my Chrome doing that. So if I go to localhost 3000, right here. Yeah, there we go. So nothing appears, but looking good so far, right? Like it's not bad. Revolutionize your job search with a unique platform that showcases projects, social media, that showcases your projects. I'm gonna say code. Just seems better. Code and unique skills. Join the waiting list. Awesome. Okay, this looks good thus far. I mean, anything else I think would be a little bit extra because why would we want that? So. I think our best bet now is to just test out how it looks on a phone. Let's just do that first. Um, oh, you can see. Oh, damn. I didn't even know that. Oh, shit. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. This looks fine. Who's using an iPad Pro? Uh, my main concern then will be 14 okay 12 pro okay xr okay so maybe make the text bigger and then we'll be fine so let's just shut that off so let's just get add i'm just uh, pushing this onto my github let's just say landing and then push this so what what's happening right is if we go to our github all we're doing here is What's this one called? Landing roadmap? No, hold on. If I go to my repository, um, what's going on here is this is being updated. So as you can see here, I called it landing in the thing and all the saved files are here. So if I do delete this, I'll be okay. Trust me, you wanna be doing this if you want because it's a pain in the ass when you delete something and it's not saved. So Let's just go back, landing page. It's called landing page. Import root directory. I'm just gonna say next JS. Let's edit this, it's in landing. Environment variables. Okay, I'm gonna cut here because I don't want y'all seeing the thing. All right, so we're deploying now. Look, there's always gonna be issues with our deployment. It's just a part of the thing. So this, it, look, there's always gonna be issues with deployment. Like I'm probably gonna get an error here. It usually doesn't work on the first try. It may, but for the most part, um, deployment, there's usually issues on deployment with every single thing we do. So we probably should expect something to go wrong and something we have to debug eventually. Oh, damn. I think it worked. Did it work? No way. <gasps> Oh shit, it worked. Okay guys, okay, okay. So please work. Let's say apples are yummy. No way, did it work? <gasps> Let's go, yes. Let's go dude, let's go. Okay, cool, this is really good. All right, so the thing is posted now. So if you go to this URL, where is it, this URL, all right, so right now we have just posted everything onto the site. Um, again, we have a lot of work to do, but for the time being, we have the site up and ready, uh, the landing page, excuse me, 
and we have like a way for users who are intrigued to enter their emails and that's important because hopefully when the release date comes we can notify the users and let them know exactly when it's coming out what's coming out and just notify them that the thing is coming out but all we're but the main idea of the site is i want it to be a place where users so me and other people that are in tech or want to be programmers can apply to tech jobs so a lot of the times when you apply to a job it's so annoying it's slow it's like it's not enjoyable at all and it's consensus like I, I looked it up like a lot of people feel that way and i was always wishing that there was a better way to apply to jobs especially like coding and art and stuff like that's creative you can't really judge a person based off a piece of paper and like links to someone's github like okay that's fine but imagine you can just display your projects in the site so you can embed your projects in like a link and you can go straight into it rather than just the github also like imagine you can like test someone's coding ability on the site that would be good and just things like that where it makes the process at least a little bit more fair to the user to display their skills while also uh weeding through bad uh possible like it and also like weeding out the bad people uh for companies so like for a company right like let's say a thousand people apply you have to read through a bunch of people's things rather than just like going through everything imagine there was a way to prerequisite people and make it easier to choose who the right employee is for that company. So I think it's value adding on both sides by A, speeding up the process and B, like making it much more fair for the person applying as they can display their skills. But other than that, uh, I think we'll just add as we go. Like I wanna add like a user profile. I want there to be like a humanized way to apply to jobs, kind of like LinkedIn, but obviously I don't wanna make LinkedIn. I want it to be more just strictly applying and yeah that should be it on that side tomorrow what i'll be doing is starting out with the main functionalities of the site very bare minimum where we're going to make able to make a user and then make a uh a employer user so stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video peace